David Ames will discuss what it takes to be a national landmark, the Reed House in Newcastle, Delaware. That is the Reed House in Newcastle, uh, Delaware, uh, 1804. Uh, and it's a type of house we call um, a federal style, federal style architecture. It is a broader type of house that we call Renaissance inspired houses that were first introduced uh, in England uh, in about 1616 in the Queen's house. And so this is a linear descendant of that house. <laughs> And you're also seeing descendants of it being built, still being built in subdivisions in terms of Georgian and colonial houses. So <clears throat> our task is to uh, develop a nomination for that to make it a national landmark. Uh, and the national landmark uh, <clears throat> basically is a comparative study. You have to show that that type of house is very outstanding compared to other houses of a particular type. One of the first things we have to do in developing uh, the significance is what's called an historic context to look at how a house evolved over time and what the major characteristics are. And the core of that is what we call a property type. And a property type is kind of an average kind of house for that particular style. 